<clears throat> today, today, we're not going to be long today, but today's topic is uh, the obstacle is the way. <clears throat> I heard that and it resonated in my spirit. I was watching some stuff. I've been in the dojo. If y'all haven't noticed lately, I've been I've been in the cut. I've been in the dojo. I've been doing some stuff on the back end. A lot of research. But I came across something that I found that was uh, enlightening and inspiring. So it said, Red Goddess, what they do, Queen. It said that the obstacle is the way. And we got to be, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because success is outside of your comfort zone. How many have heard that before? The obstacle is the way and get comfortable with being uncomfortable because the success is outside of your comfort zone. We got to step outside our comfort zone. Sometimes or a lot of times we're going to have to do things that we don't want to do or things that we may be avoiding to do. But that is the answer. Going through it and getting through it is the answer. Even though we've been trying to get around it, get by it, the obstacle is the way. Thank you, Queen. I'll go ahead and pin that. The obstacle is the way. You know, and I myself can say that I have tried to get around it. Every what preposition you could think of, get around it. Too low to get under. Yeah, yeah. Too high to get over. You feel me? I didn't try to get under stuff, get around stuff, get over stuff, get by stuff, opposed to get through stuff. You know, the obstacle is the way. And that's what, you know, we have to understand sometimes in whatever realm that um, we want to be in. Something else that I'm noticing is that um, shiny, uh, shiny, sin, shiny object syndrome. That's where, you know, we jump it from thing to thing. You know, we got to get in something and, and get focused and stay consistent with it. But also it's going to be tough and we have to get uh, comfortable with being uncomfortable within that. And also when we're in things, the excitement wears down after a while. So we have to be able to keep keep our drive. You understand what I'm saying? And we may try to take the shortcut in it or put it aside and procrastinate, but we got to power through that. You feel me? Because the obstacle is the way. When we find these problems in our business, in our life, in our relationships, whatever it may be, we can't get around that. Sometimes we avoid confrontation or uncomfortable conversations, but it has to be had. It has to be had. You know what I'm saying? And I was uh, a friend of mine hit me up just recently and we had a conversation about a uncomfortable conversation that they uh, needed to have a while back. They did it and they are thankful that they did it because now things are, uh, you know, elevating and emerging for them. You know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. So that made me feel good that, you know, that's an example. What they do, Nurse Cammy, that's an example of, of, you know, having an uncomfortable conversation and um, getting through, you know what I'm saying, doing that. Miss Moneybag, what they do, Queen, you feel me? I know it's freezing up there right now. Um, it was 80 degrees here today. I'm in Florida. But it, where I'm where I'm at, it usually get cold. But it was 80 degrees here today. But um, yeah. So, but that was an example of someone who uh, went through it. They were trying to avoid an uncomfortable conversation and situation, but they went through it. They went through it, and now they've been elevating and blossoming ever since. So that's a perfect example and testament to the obstacle is the way. You know. We can't be deterred or we can't be scared about, um, you know, approaching these uncomfortable conversations or situations. We got we got the power through it. And because of that, um, <laughs> yeah, I already know you freezing up there, man. I know you freezing up there, queen. You're an ice queen right now. But, um, yeah, we got to power through these situations, you know, 
and uh, the solution, the success, the result is on the other side of it, you know, and I can say myself too, right? I, I'm going to be doing, I got invited to do something, King Carl, what they do, uh, I got invited to do something this weekend that I was hesitant of doing and y'all will see that, you know what I'm saying, probably sometime next week or in a, two weeks or whatever, but I was really hesitant uh, in doing in doing this thing, you know, and I had kind of, you know, pre said that I was going to do it. You know what I mean? Being happy. And then when I actually started doing some of my due diligence, I was like, whoa, man, I don't think that I don't know if I'm, you know, quite ready for this right here or whatever. And, you know, I had to come to terms with nah, bro. You is ready for this. You is going to do this. You is going to do this. You know, you got to power through it. So I'm going to do it. Y'all going to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Coming up soon. So be, you know, be tuned into that. But uh, I will say that it's going to be a podcast. I'm going to be on a podcast. So, you know, that's that's as much as I'll say about it as of right now. But I... uh, and y'all know me, I'm I'm really, you know, outgoing and everything like that. But this one was like, ooh, I didn't know about it. But, you know, I decided that I'm going to commit to it and I'm going to go through with it. And, you know, y'all going to see the results. And, you know, once I do it, like I said, it's this weekend. And um, But, you know, I got to be transparent with y'all. I was, you know what I'm saying, hazard, having reservations about it. Like, uh, but I had already committed to it. Southern class, what they do. Southern classics um, and power through it because the obstacle is the way the obstacle is the way and how are we going to ever how are we ever going to know unless we do it would you much rather would you much rather uh, try and fail or live with the regret What? which one would y'all have would y'all rather try and fail work harder what they do clean um, King, she said, do that shit. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that shit, Queen. I'm going to do that shit, Queen. You feel me? But I got to be transparent with y'all, though. You know what I'm saying? I got to be transparent with y'all, man. You know, I come to y'all once a week on this Mindset Monday. Sam Pastor Syndrome. What's that? I never heard of that before. Miami Comedy Festival. What they do? Man, I'm coming down to Miami in, uh, what is it, about a week? Right after Christmas, I'll be down there. Failure all day. Failure all day. Uh, if you have any events going on after Christmas to New Year's, uh, let, let me do that. Imposter syndrome. Mmm. Mmm. I've heard of the term, but I'm not familiar with the definition completely of imposter syndrome. I could put some context clues together. Now, I don't know you probably don't want to write a dissertation, but... If you would enlighten us just a little bit because I could put context clues together, but I'm not completely familiar with the full definition. You rather try and fail. Exactly. Rather try, try and fail than live with the regret of not trying at all. So, you know, that's where I'm at with it. And I feel like, you know, as entrepreneurs, as people, uh, you know, we creating our royalty, we creating our empires. This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to try and fail and fail forward. But it can be uncomfortable dealing with that failure or thinking about dealing with that failure or taking a risk or catching a loss or, well, a lesson. It's only a, a loss if you quit or you didn't learn anything. But the lessons is what makes us right. But the obstacles, the obstacles can oftentimes deter us. And we got to understand that the obstacle is the way, you know, but how do y'all get comfortable with being uncomfortable? Queen Tina, what they do? I got to I got to hit you up, too, man. Um, How do Truck and Justin what they do? The King Truck and Justin is on here, man. If y'all not following the King Truck and Justin, make sure y'all follow him. My guy is coming with something special for y'all Christmas. My guy is coming with something special for y'all for Christmas. You feel me? Oh, and I, and I didn't even mention y'all. 
The Dooley Dojo course is just about done. It's going to be coming to y'all soon. The Dooley Dojo course is going to be coming. It's going to be coming to y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? We got the Hood Estates family in the building. Truck and Justin, the Kaizen Investor, Queen Tina. You feel me? We got the Hood Estates Elite Trucking family is in the building. What they do. So, um, yeah, man. Hey, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, I, I know some of the inside information. Y'all be on the lookout. My guy Trucking Justin is coming out with his digital product. You feel me? You know, I don't even want to get into promoting it so, so much. You know what I'm saying? But my guy is coming out with his digital product. His course is going to be bomb. Trey Snatch is coming out with his first course, Dooley Dojo course. You feel me? Because what I found is that <clears throat> in the realm, in the region that I'm in, it's like Zelda and Tech Mobile. You feel what I'm saying? And opposed to being out there. In YouTube land, you got A through Z, all directed, all constructing you. Yeah, waiting on those hot shots. It's coming, queen. It's coming. Dooley Dojo is coming. The Dooley Dojo course is coming. It's just about done. That's what I've been working on, too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know, like I say, man, I've been doing some things in the background, doing a lot of research, finishing up my course. You know what I mean? This new year, this 2020 is going to be magnificent for everybody. This 2020 is going to be magnificent for everybody. Believe that. Believe that. So my question is to everybody on here, how do you get comfortable with being uncomfortable? That's my question to y'all. And, you know, you don't have to type such a big uh, dissertation, if you will. But how do you get comfortable with being uncomfortable? Do you talk to yourself? Do you listen to music? Do you meditate? Do you seek counsel from others? Do you do all of the above? Do you just say bump it and run it? I have the authority trucking course dropping any day. Yee! I have the authority trucking course is coming. You feel what I'm saying? When you ready to take that thing to that level? Man, if you're not following him, my guy is getting like a thousand dollars a day out there, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't pocket watching or nothing, but you know, my guy is getting to the bag. Plus, he's dropping valuable valuable value you know what i'm saying valuable content you li okay listen to motivational speeches on youtube okay that's how you get comfortable with being uncomfortable et the hip-hop preacher uh les brown things of that nature maybe even tony robbins gary v that's a good way that's a good way i like the meditation the uh hertz frequencies that's my that's my thing right there too, Eric Thomas. For for lack of better way to put it, it's kind of like self doubt due to fear. Hmm. How do you overcome that, Queen? Or uh, what are some methods that you have used in the past to overcome that? Would be my question. I take it one day at a time. Sometimes hour by hour, depending on the day. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to take it one day at a time, one minute at a time sometimes just to get by, you know, definitely, definitely, you know, take your time. Sometimes it's good to take a step back, to take a step back. How do y'all get comfortable with being uncomfortable, you know? Get a mentor. She has two. Okay. 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 Mentorship is, mentorship is key. Especially when you, uh, you know, have a mentor that's where you would like to be, you know, to help guide you in that and to help give you insight on how to get through certain situations that they've probably already been through themselves. You know, talk to myself, but in the good <laughs> talk myself up. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, uh, I like I think what's the meme say uh, if you see. Me talking to myself, I'm just having a meeting with my staff. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You got to do that. Facing every uncomfortable situation and giving myself no choice but to get comfortable with it. Come on in. Facts. You're, yourself, no choice but to get comfortable. 
Queen, hey. what they do. Number one, you know I love you when I'm coming onto a live broadcast with my bonnet on. I you see it. I see it. I was like, oh, she got the bonnet on? Oh, bonnet man. On. You feel me? Yeah, this is real life, Kaizen Investor. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Everybody, this is the Kaizen Investor. Y'all hear me talk about her all the time. You feel me? Great no queen. No hair, no makeup, people. We're just going to keep it raw and real. It's Mindset Monday. Mindset Monday. We keeping it raw and real. You feel me? We getting comfortable <laughs> with being uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I was, I was trying to type. And I can't type that fast, and I had a mm. lot to say, so I was like, let me hop on. Come on. talk. Let's talk about it, Queen. <laughs> the way that I deal with well, – how I deal with or how I get comfortable being uncomfortable mm -hmm. right now, which is not my solid answer because I'm still working through this. You know, we yes, had we conversations are. before, and I am still <clears throat> at this present moment trying to get – comfortable with being uncomfortable. And the only thing that has been working for me recently is giving myself grace. Mm. Giving myself grace. I literally tell myself, okay, Gia, let's go fail at this. I, mm. I, I legit tell myself that. You know why? Because giving myself permission to fail mentally turns a lock in my head that says, oh, it's okay to go. It's, it's okay to try now. It's okay to give it a wing. Just give it a go. It's okay. Because if I, I don't consider myself to be a perfectionist, but I think we all have an aversion to failure, right? We don't mm -hmm. want to fall on our face. We look, we, we feel foolish when we trip up in public and I trip over my feet all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, we trip up, but I'm walking. Like, imagine if you were afraid to take that first step because you're afraid to trip. Mm. You know, there's but so much that you can try to do and study on your own. I always think about, think about, you have your beautiful princess sitting next to you. How many times did she trip and fall as she learned to walk? Mm. It's part of the process. Yeah. But yeah. now she strides beautifully as the young princess that she is. Mm. It's a part of the process. So for me, I can only speak for myself and you guys let me know. Y'all chime in. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I am giving myself grace. I am allowing myself to fail. Because as long as I'm failing, I know I'm moving. Mm -hmm. Because for the longest time, I was stuck in... What's the word for it, Trey? Like, I was stuck in this... Uh, what is it? Paralysis of analysis? Yes! Here's a classic example. Classic. Okay. I was talking to my sister about this last night, which is wild. Queen okay? Shantae, how she doing? <laughs> You can't be saying her governor. Oh, governor, my bad. Oh, dang, my bad. My bad. Slip it, Slip it, my, bad. It. my bad. My bad. You know, I, we, you know, we be have, you know what I'm saying? Dang. <laughs> my bad. Introverted. Uh, empire. In, empire. Yeah. My bad. She gonna kill you. But I was talking to her the other day and I was telling her how. Okay. For y'all who don't know, I love Marie Forleo. If you're not familiar with her, she's a really cool personality. She's a hybrid of people. Mm -hmm. She's like, uh, like King Kardashian, but like for like positivity. In okay. The sense that she does a lot of things, but her, her, um, her platform is more about bringing the best in you. Right. Mm -hmm. And she calls herself like, um, a multi hyphenate, right? She loves to dance. She loves to motivate. She loves to sing. She loves to act. And thankfully, thanks to the internet and YouTube, she's been able to create a YouTube channel and a brand off of it. Mm. And I thought about that, and I was thinking about, she had a book that I love, and the phrase she always says is that you learn by doing. And I mm. have embraced that. And I have executed on that, right? Because a lot of times I'm like, dang it, Gia, what the heck are you doing? And I'm like, it's okay, I'm learning. That's how mm. you learn by doing, you learn by doing, you learn by doing. Mm. And as we have talked to... As um, I've learned and talking to you about it, a lot of times with these lives at the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing. Mm. <laughs> I had no, but I knew that, okay, first of all, number one, this was an exercise, as you know, an exercise for me to get uncomfortable because mm -hmm. doing live video still makes me uncomfortable to this day. Mm -hmm. um, and a method for me to force myself and being consistent because that's a problem I've had in the past, mm -hmm. being consistent, right? 
And I'm happy and things have blossomed in the way that I could have never expected. Hello, my sweet Al. I see you there, darling. Shout out um, Work Strive Grind. Yeah, hey, Work Strive Grind. Um, but at the same time, I've learned through doing, right? I've learned, oh, I like this aspect. Oh, do I want to keep this up? Yeah, I do. But if I would have sat still, because mm. I started my IG page this time last year, back in like October of last year. Hold on. Shout out Rehab in High Heels. What oh, they that's do. Yeah, hey, what they do, Queen. I just want to, uh, you know, shout you out. I just started following you. I forgot who you went live with. You went live with uh, Asia, Lady Contractor, and I started following you. And Yo. I love what you're doing. You're doing some great work out yes. here, Queen. So yes. I just want to big you up. Great I know you don't Tuesday. know me formally, <laughs> but I'm a part <laughs> of, you know what I'm yeah. saying, the whole family, the circle. And then I just want to big you up, Queen. Uh, yes. I done caught a couple of your lives. And, yes. and and I love what you're doing over there, man. Fire. I love what you're doing. I love how you're inspiring and teaching. So I just want to big you up, man. I'm Trey Snatch, um, by the way. But yeah, go yeah. ahead. And once again, I always got to plug her. Buy her planner. Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. If Cop you the want planner. To points in 2020, buy DJ's planner, Rehabbing in Heels. Just stop what you're doing and follow her. I just get emotional when I see Yeah, she, was, she went bonkers. Okay. She said she did like 24, 24. Six rehab deals She's this year. Savage. Yeah, sav the savage. <laughs> <laughs> She's a savage. Lord, DJ, you, I, get, I get so excited when I see DJ. I lost my thought. What was I saying? But, okay, so let me wrap this up because I don't want to hog your life. The no, no, nah, you're good, queen. You learn by doing. I mm -hmm. started my IG page this October of 2019, right? One year. Mm -hmm. One year ago. And the whole idea for me was, okay, let me just chronicle my journey as a new investor trying to figure this mess out, all right? Mm -hmm. And it's been a beautiful journey nonetheless. I had no idea what my page was really about. To this day, I'm still kind of figuring out. I have a better mm -hmm. feel and clarity about it. But that clarity came through action. Mm -hmm. Clarity comes through action. Because mm -hmm. what happens is that until you start moving, you really won't know where to move to. Get that momentum started because maybe you think in terms of investing, because you know, that's what my brain is. Maybe you think, mm. oh, I need to wholesale. I need to wholesale. And maybe you're like, mm -mm, yeah, this ain't for me. But mm. the beauty is that you learn that by doing it. You yourself, Trey, has certain experiences and certain businesses and you recognize, you know what? That ain't for me. Mm -hmm. The only way you learn that is by doing it. That's a fact. That's a fact. Cause, that's called life. Because it was like, you know, what are you, the trading guy, the credit guy, the stock guy, the dually guy? You know what I'm saying? I'm like T.I., you feel me? I'll, I'll take, you feel me? I'll, I'll beat you up and then take your girl. You know what I'm saying? But raise my kids. You know what I'm saying? And do a mindset Monday at 7. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, sometimes I even be like, dang, I'm, you know, doing duallys. Like, how did I even get here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up and down. It's, it's it's crazy, you know, it's crazy. But, you know, we all multifaceted individuals, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. no one is just one way. But I have a question because you was like, um, it's OK to fail. And this is this is almost like devil's advocate. Right. Mm. But with going into something saying it's OK to fail, do you feel like you give it less of an effort going into it because you have it's automatically coming in with a fail connotation to it in a sense. Does that make sense to you, the question? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. It's almost like you, you think that having the mentality of saying it's okay to fail gives you permission to fail. But well, I, I'm asking. I'm, you know, I'm kind of asking. Yeah. And, of course, I can only speak personally for myself. And for me, the answer is no. But mm -hmm. that's because, thankfully, I have a high level of self-awareness. And I know that... I have a lot riding on me because I have my family riding on me, right? So I'm going to go all in. Mm. And for me, I'm not even going to fail. And when I mean fail, um, act, okay? So I'm going to go all in on whatever venture that I am pursuing currently. And I tell myself, once again, this is just me. I say, okay, Gia, we're going to fail and we're going to fail fast. Meaning that we are going to go all in, no excuses, no regrets, 100 full throttle at this so mm. if we crash we crash hard baby but we gonna have a story to tell mm. we gonna add it to the memoir like mm. <laughs> because it all all of those little fail 
failures and setbacks, those are all part of the journey. They're all compiled into this amazing thing called life that is still going to propel you forward because no one on this life can ever say that they failed at something and they never learned from it. Mm. Meanwhile, and don't worry, and the other thing about failure and moving forward is um, a lot of times we're afraid because we don't want to fail in front of people. Mm. You know, there's there's ego involved. We are humans. You know, we are humans. And at that, I always say, don't worry about them. You know, people who are cheering from the sidelines, they're cheering because they're cheering. Sometimes they cheer, sometimes they boo. Mm -hmm. Stay focused on what you're doing. Because remember, those are the people in the cheap seats. They're not on the court. Mm. They don't know what it's like. Mm. They don't know that pressure. I love you. Oh, got to slide by, Trucking Justin. All right, Chuck and Justin, King J. Good night. Hey, millionaires, mama, how y'all doing? But yeah, for, so for me personally, no. So I use, I to give myself permission to fail because that unlocks the anxiety I have for myself as a perfectionist to mm. get it right all the time. And I've recognized through this past year that perfection is not necessary, but consistency is required. Mm. Consistency is required. Mm. If I was waiting for, um, I don't know. If I was waiting for everything to be perfect, y'all will never know my name. Y'all will never yeah. know, like, who is the Kaizen investor? Who is, who is she trying to do? Mm -hmm. No, no. If, look, shout out to my girl, Millionaire's Mama, because even what we were at the uh, Earn Your Leisure event, and so I forgot what question she asked me. I was like, girl, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this. <laughs> Was she at FinCon? Was Millionaire's Mama at FinCon? Yes, she was. Okay, yes, what was they crazy. do, Queen? I think you that know was we. Side hustle Queen, right there. Okay, I think we. I don't. I don't think we directly met, but we were in the same company yes. during FinCon. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, what yeah, they yeah, do, yeah. Queen? I've Everyone heard a lot about you. Millionaire's Mama. Yeah. I've heard a lot of a lot of things about you. Um, man, FinCon was crazy, man. It Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. That's that's a whole nother story. But yeah, so 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 you going you going into it, you know, with no regrets, with no, no regrets, regrets exactly. and being able to fail forward. That's that's how I kind of look at things. I tell I tell people like you know those old people who's just sitting in the chair staring. I figured out what they doing. They replaying their life in their head. And, <laughs> and, and do you want to have a, a movie full of regrets or or a cliffhanger? You know what I'm like, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> something something amazing. You know what I mean? And I, I want to be, I want to be that one that was amazing. Like, oh, I, I go to rock in my chair. Like, oh, is he having Tourette's? Nah, I'm just talking about that time that I had done did. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Woo, just barely made it out of that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm here in this chair staring at the air. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And here's the thing I always tell, I was telling my friend, my saying is I, I want to, I want to land in my casket with scuffs. Like I want, mm. <laughs> I want people to be like, ooh, she lived. Like, ooh. <laughs> Our time on this planet is short, so I'm not going to walk away with regrets. And I feel like it's disrespectful. I got, once again, I can only speak for myself. I'm first generation American. Mm -hmm. My parents came to this country for a reason, and it wasn't for me to slack off and take the easy ride. Mm -hmm. it's, it wasn't for me to live the sweet life and coast. They came here because they wanted me to have access to amazing things and to live a better life. And I'm mm -hmm. thankful for that. And People, once again, politics aside, no one can refute the, fact, the fact that we have opportunities in this country that many people in other countries may never have access to. Absolutely. Even something simple as the fact that tomorrow, if I wanted to, I can go down to the county and follow an LLC and start a business like that. Mm. You know how hard it is to start a business in Italy? Like, ask my mm. friends, like, this, it's, these, we have opportunities available to us that we take for granted. How dare you not try? How dare you not try? How dare you not try? In honor of our ancestors, how dare you not try? Mm. Harry did what? And you telling me you can't try to start a little business on the side? Yeah. Because you're afraid of what such and such is going to say? Seriously? Mm. How dare you not try, baby? Mm. That's, that's what I tell. That's my inner dialogue. 
that is my inner dialogue. Because yes, it's scary. I'm not lying to you. It's it's scary. But at the same time, I refuse to be paralyzed in fear and allow that to limit me from my potential and also my way of demonstrating my respect to those who have come before me. Mm. I think about that. Think about, oh, you didn't go. You must come back. Well, when you come back to D.C., mm -hmm. uh, we have to go to the African-American. That's the goal. Exactly. At the start of the year, um, I made it a goal to visit the museum once a month. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I didn't make it once a month, which is a shame because I live right outside of D.C. But I, so, I love to go there because it reminds me every single day how relentless we are as a people. Mm. There are no excuses. No excuses. Facts. And I always think about the fact that it wasn't Harriet that made the movement. It wasn't Martin that made the movement what it was. It was all those people whose names we will never know. Mm-hmm. Those mm -hmm. are the heroes. Those names yeah. never, the stories that never were told. The Honor them. Bus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So look, I've done taking over your life. I'm nah, man. <laughs> no, no, you beautiful queen. You know, you know we link up work, man. Does you know magic happens? Like, I'm telling you, like I've been 